Welcome to the intro. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, D-Man here doing a Steven Universe sneak peek trailer breakdown sort of thing uh, for Dewey Wins. Okay, so this is a sneak peek trailer for Dewey Wins. The next episode that's actually coming out, I don't know when it's coming out, but that that's what they said. They said it's the next episode that's coming out. Um, and this is from Comic-Con or something, I think. I don't know, but I'll put the video in the link to in the description below, I'll link the video that I watched the actual trailer on. Um, so this trailer, pretty damn awesome looking. Uh, pretty damn awesome looking indeed. So, before we had, like, a trailer just in general of Steven Universe and stuff. Um, just like the new episodes coming out. Um, and that trailer was okay. I did do a breakdown of that trailer too. Um, it was okay. It had a lot of good stuff in there. And it had a part in here that was in that trailer. I'll show the picture right now. That was in that trailer. And this is in this trailer because this is one that's from, this is from the episodes from, I guess. Anyways. So this seems like it's going to be about Mayor Dewey. But some of it is going to be about Connie and Steven's relationship. Because this is directly after the last episode where Steven just gets back. He seems a little bit more happy than he should be because Lars is still on the planet. But whatever, I guess. I'll glaze over that. And Connie is very upset. She ends up walking away from him. Uh, because he says he's going to walk her home. But he ends, she ends up walking away from him. And um, he's just like, like, what the hell are you doing sort of thing. He catches up to her. He runs up to her. And he's like, he's like hey, uh. Can't wait to tell you about all the stuff that happened. Like, I went on trial, and this happened, and this happened. Again, a little bit too excited for, you know, just being almost murdered in space. But, whatever. <laughs> or thrown in jail, or bubbled. I don't know exactly what they would do to him. Shatter him? Can you even shatter a, a human? I guess you could. But, would they rip out his gem and then shatter it? Would he die if his gem got ripped out? <laughs> Never mind about that. <laughs> Um, anyways, so he's trying to tell her like, all this stuff that happened, a little bit too excitedly, which is weird, and she's just has this somber, sad looking face on, and she's just walking away, and then at one point, he's like, like, why are you so upset sort of thing, like, like, why, like, aren't you glad I'm okay, and she's like, of course I'm glad you're okay. He's like, so what's the problem? Um, and then she says, like, I can't believe you did that. Like, I can't believe you made that decision. What about us? Like, I, I believed in us. Like, <laughs> she says, I can't believe you did that. Like, I can't believe you made that decision by yourself. And he's like, I did it because it's the only option I had. I did it because I wanted to save everybody. It was the only option I had. And she's just like, well, what about us? I believed in us. Like, what... You could have brought me along with you. I could have done something with you. Uh, which I'll get into a little bit later about my opinions on this. Um, but for the most part, she's saying like, like, what about us? What about us? You know, sort of thing. Um, so let's get into Steven's perspective than Connie's perspective. So Steven's perspective is that he did this to save everybody. He made this decision on his own to save everybody, to get all the humans away to save the crystal gems because the girl with the freaking wand uh, was OP as hell and she probably could have wrecked their faces. So he did this to save everybody from being on homeworld or, or being destroyed. Like, the crystal gems, I don't know if they would have been shattered, but they would have got their ass kicked. Um, but everybody else would have been in the zoo. So he did this to save everybody. And Connie does not understand that. Connie, I feel like Connie, because she says, like, what about us? I believe in us. Like, I thought you believed in us, too. And he's just like, I do, but this was different. Like, I did this to save you. But she doesn't think that. She thinks, okay, so this is my personal opinion on what she thinks. I think that she thinks she was selfish. A little bit narcissistic, probably. 
um, and, and betrayed. She felt betrayed. Because she thinks that there's such a powerful team like Stevani and Hint. Like, Connie and Steven make Stevani, and they're, they're such a powerful team that she could, like, help them take these gems on. Um, which I'll get into my opinions a little bit later. But she thinks that she, she could have helped them take the gems on. They could have got out together, and it would have all worked out for the best. But instead, Steven made this decision on himself, like, by himself. So she feels betrayed. And she feels like he was being selfish and that he just wanted to do this by himself because he doesn't, like, trust in their abilities here. He doesn't think that they have enough power or she has enough power, maybe. So she feels betrayed. Um, she feels like Steven doesn't see them as, like, a powerful team and that he just did this because he thought that he could deal with it himself and not with her. Um... So she feels betrayed. Basically, at the end of the day, she feels betrayed. And then she leaves online. And we don't get, like, a conclusion to that. And I don't know if we will get a conclusion to that this episode. But seeing the last sneak peek trailer that I broke down, eventually we do get a conclusion to that. Um, but she definitely feels betrayed. Uh, and she feels like... And she feels like Steven doesn't get it, because Steven doesn't get it. Uh, at the end of the day, Steven does not get it. Um, and I sort of see where she's coming from. You know, like, when you put so much time into something, just to have that other person be like, yeah, well, I'm going to do it by myself, you feel like, oh, what the hell, man? Like, I thought we had a thing. I thought, like, we were... I thought we could do it together, but no, you just do it yourself. So I can feel the frustration with that. Uh, and she feels very betrayed, and I don't know if that's the end or anything, but it is what it is. And there's this little funny part at the end where Steven is like, Oh, thanks, I'm glad you're back, and everything's okay. <laughs> He's just like talking to himself like what he wished Kanye would have said. And Lion's a little bit pissed off at him too, so that's pretty funny. Okay, so now my personal opinion on what I think and like how Connie's wrong. Um, Connie's mad. I mean, women, right? <laughs> I'm just joking. I just had to make that joke. Um, but anyways, Connie's mad because she feels betrayed. But Steven thinks that he made the right decision, which I also think that he made the right decision. Because Connie does not understand that this isn't a situation that you can just fuse and fight against. These are the diamonds. I don't think Stevani by herself could take on the diamonds. I highly doubt that even all the gems fused together could take on the diamonds that easily. Uh, what is it called again? Alexandrite? I'm going to say Alexandrite. I'm not sure, actually, but I think it's Alexandrite. So even Alexandrite could not take on the diamonds easily. They, she could one at a time, maybe, but not too easily. Because the diamonds are overpowered as shit. At least of what we heard and seen... They're overpowered. And only a diamond can kill a diamond. But that's a theory. <laughs> um, but anyways. Uh, so Connie thinks that if she would have went. They could have fused. They could have made some kind of plan. But that's not how it worked. Like when, like when Steven went. They separated Steven from Lars. Um, but Connie doesn't think that. She thinks like, oh, like, we could have been together and I could have fought with you and stuff. But at the end of the day, that's not how it worked. And that's not, that's like, Steven, I, th I don't know if Steven knew that's not how it works. But he probably assumed that something would separate them or something like that. I, I'm thinking he did. But if you're smart, you would assume, like, they're not going to keep us together. They're going to separate us. They're not going to let us, like talk and make a strategy or anything like that so Steven's right on this situation this was the only way to get out uh, with less casualties with less people going uh, so Steven was right although I get where Connie's coming from she feels very betrayed because she thinks that like Stevani could handle this like we could handle this but instead you made a selfish decision by yourself because you're a jerk and now I'm pissed off at you 
Uh, but, but Steven thinks like it was the only decision I could make. It was the only way to actually deal with the problem without having like a bunch of like crap happening. And if we would have destroyed that ship and also the people on it, uh, more gems would have came and just battered work. Like things would have kept on getting worse and worse and worse for us. So that's why I did that sort of thing. Um. And that's like my whole perspective on it. Like Steven did the right thing because he thought of the consequences or maybe he didn't think of the consequences. Maybe he just thought he could save people. Um, but in my mind, if you think of the consequences for destroying the gems and their ship and stuff, it would have been much worse because the diners would have sent somebody more powerful down. Um, and if Connie would have went with him, again... They wouldn't have been able to fuse because the diamonds were way overpowered. And even if they were able to fuse, it would just make the diamonds worse than matter because the diamonds think that's an abomination. Uh, so that's my perspective on it. So Connie, I get where you're coming from, but you're wrong. <laughs> uh, and that's the whole breakdown of the trailer sort of thing. So it looks really interesting. I don't know if it's going to be... Like, if... If it's going to get resolved at the end of the episode, I don't think it is. I'm prob it's probably going to take like a couple episodes. But I'm definitely looking forward to the new episodes. And I hope uh, they're not bad and they're not foolery. <laughs> and the only thing I found a little bit off about this was the happiness that Steven had. Steven was way too happy for just leaving Lars behind. I get that he's happy to be back, but dude, you just left one of your friends behind. You had a great moment with them, and you left them behind, and you're like, I'm super happy now, though. <laughs> I'm just saying, it should have been a little bit more zombie, like, a little more, like, sad toned. But anyways, that's my trailer breakdown, little review thing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Hey, guys. Just reminding you to like this video. Leave a comment if you want to and share it if you want to as well. Click the circle to subscribe or click the square to watch the next video. Or actually the rectangle because it's not a square. But remember my friends, stay sane. Peace.